Hey, and welcome to Minecraft-help-dads.com. Our website tutorial today is going to be about executing something during the time of day. Uh, the time of day is tracked, obviously, by a clicker between 0 and 24,000 clicks, right? And the whole time thing is set up. And you can do time, query, day. Sorry, day time. And it tells you what time of the day it is. But you can't actually do anything in the minigame on that time. And so my sons want to actually have a command block that says, when it's this time, do something. Right? Turn on a door, set zombies loose, do something. Um, they did use sensor blocks that they could use, but sensors were kind of inaccurate because the daylight they couldn't control, and obviously they don't work at night very well. So if you wanted something, you could say, you know, midnight, in the middle of midnight, darkness, or whatever it is, say, go and do this. So it was a little difficult that I wanted, so this is for him to figure out and, and, uh, and do so he can without my help but it is based on command blocks and commands right so this is a vanilla installation there's nothing here I've got the command set up and blocked for you nothing here but power all right and the first thing we're gonna do is we need to create a scoreboard objective and we're gonna use a scoreboard command and objectives we're going to add a command uh, called clock and clock is the variable, and dummy is the command line that you just need to say it's something you can give a number to. All right? Up here already existed, so I've been here before. So we're going to do scoreboard objectives list, and you'll see that there's a clock name to type dummy, which means we have an objective that we can add things to. Now, we need a player to be able to add things to, and that's the trick. So we want to create a player with the scoreboard. All right, but we're actually not adding a player, and that's what got me. You're going to set the players, right? And time of day is the player. This is a variable that you get to create and do whatever you want to do, but it's your player. That's the thing. So we're not adding a player. We're setting a player's clock value to zero. So his objective clock, which is a dummy value of zero, we're going to set. So we actually have a player called time of day when we're done here. All right, and that's the little secret of, of going through things. The next little secret is the command block. So if you don't know how to get a command block, give yourself Minecraft command block. All right, that'll give you another one. Uh, right click, drop a command block, and right click inside there. We're going to query the time of day, just like we did before. And if you see the value here is 7487. To go away, come back. It's 7487 because it's not doing now. We'll add a little power to it to actually get it to execute. Oh, and look, you go look at our, our command block is issuing the commands every time it blinks. It's actually saying the command is right there, and it's issuing the time. If I do time set day, which is a thousand, there we go, it starts counting. So look, every 10, 15, 30 seconds or so, it, or ticks, I'm sorry, it starts going up. Well, that's annoying, so we're going to get rid of that. So game rule, all right, not mode rule of... Querying, where is it? Right. Command block output, false. All right, that's just to stop the thing from scrolling up the side. But it's a very easy command to show to you again, and it's again it's down below in our command log to get it out of the way. So now we've got a block counting time, but now we need to get that counting time results into our player. To do that, for the command you've got in the this in the uh, notes, it's standing on top for no other reason than it's easier to just do a negative one. And the command is already preset here. I'm gonna go back and hit it for us. All right, so we're gonna send the stats of the block, right, right below us, so the tilde is right below us. We're gonna set the query results to the player of his objective clock. Remember, we set the zero, so now we're gonna do whatever the block says, whenever it blinks in that time that was running up the side, the time of day's player clock value is going to be that which gives us the ability to do that. So now it is storing the query results of that command block in our player. In the easiest way I like to actually see this is scoreboard objectives. Just to set display on the sidebar and let's put our objective actually on the sidebar. And now we can actually tell live what time of day it is based on every time it clicks. Right. So it is 2900. So it's, it's right there. And for everyone who wants to know time, you can go and look that up real fast. Every value has a time of the day, and you can actually track the sun, right? And do all that. So now I've got 
to say, well, when I want to do something, when it's a certain time. So I've got another command block that's not attached yet, but it's going to be powered. Get Mr. Pig off. Uh, this is the command to test that objective for the player time of day if it's between 1,000 and 1,200. Alright, so if it's between any value of that, it is going to execute a command. See down below here is saying it's not rain, so it's actually working. The last time it worked, I'm going to go ahead and connect the power back up. Hey, 3741 or 40, 3471 is not within the range, right? So it's not executing. If it does execute, I've got the simple output of the command block going to another command block that's going to summon a pig. So in the time of 1000 to 1200, right? We can sit here all day, or I can just say time set. Let's just do 990. Right. There's 995, and there's our cap. Light turned on, right? The value is true. And when we hit F3, you'll see that it's true. And when he goes to 1200, that turns off, value becomes untriggered, right? False. And we're off and running, and there's no pig. Alright. So let's just do that again. Set the time at 990 and watch it. We set the time 1000. There's our pig. That's all you gotta do. So now, any time of day, just come in here and say I want to change it to, let's just say, 10,000, right? Which is a totally different time of day, and between 12,000. So any time, if it happens to be during that time of day, I think he's doing a, a sun-based game or something. You know, it'll sit here false for the entire time, and we'll just do, you know, 9990 there, and watch it. 10,000. There's our pick and it's going to stay lit and you can do a bunch of things after that. Now the easiest thing that I found to do is once that is all done by Cal, uh, is actually have him do other stuff based on this. So if we actually want to, there, there we go. You say how to do that. So all I did is execute the command and turn off the weather. So on that one command, and I guess it time day because it's day. let's just get out of that window so it turns off so it just had to execute these three commands and there's my flying pig I love my flying pig alright so there's my flying pig command there's my zombie oh, I gotta turn the power mode to peaceful so you can see it and then this one actually changes the weather to rain right so that's why it started raining on us so it had nothing to do with the weather of the clock or nothing it had to do with us saying that player that we have created went to time 12,000, or 10,000 to 12,000, and therefore it did these three commands. So I'm just going to put this in a difficult piece mode because you get to get to see the other one, and then we'll change the time back right, to 990 right before 10,000. That light comes on. There's our flying pig. Oh, there's our little jockey. He's not showing up. But it started raining. There's one pig, and figure out what's going on with this guy. Again, working. He is working with the paint blocks below. Alright. But there you go. There you have it. So, everything you need, and I hate weather, but it's obviously there. And when that comes out of 12,000, so let's just go maybe get you guys one more time. Out of 13,000. Right? He turns off. Okay? And now no more commands. Last time, since it's fun, more flying pigs. There's my flying pig. See? Pigs do fly. And you can tell time. And you can execute based on time. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Uh, look forward to your comments.